Ladies, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm Natalia and welcome back to Fit Rebel. I talk about going to the gym a lot and it is true that it really is a part of my life now and I don't really question it very much. But this hasn't always been the case. I definitely had my load of fears when I entered the weight area of the gym for the first time. I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. All these people were doing exercises that I mostly had never seen before in my life and they were lifting such heavy weights. I was so worried that I would do something completely wrong and that it would be written on my forehead that I had never been to the gym before and that I had no idea what I was doing. But in reality, you will soon realize that this is not true. All these people who are there at the gym, they are there for the same reason as you, which is to train and reach their objectives. And no one is going to judge you for doing the same as them. In fact, people will really tend to help out, if anything. I promise that you'll feel more comfortable in no time, especially if you find a gym that suits you and that you get used to. But like any place, the gym has its rules. Some of them are more formal and written on the walls, such as don't drop heavy weights too hard on the floor. And some of them are a lot more informal, rules that everyone goes by, but that are actually not explicitly written anywhere. So for this reason, I've put together a list of 10 rules that you should absolutely go by when you go to the gym. And hopefully you'll feel like you own the place in no time. Also, I've added in a little bonus at the end, so be sure to stick around for that. You can find me on Instagram for daily tips and motivation on how to become a stronger, more confident woman. And go like my Facebook page to join a growing community of girls just like us. The first gym rule is put the weights back. I know this sounds very obvious, but I can't tell you the amount of people that don't take off their weights off their exercise once they've finished using a machine. This is insanely frustrating, especially when the weights are so heavy that I have to, on top of take them off, ask someone else to help me take those weights off. So don't be that person and take the weights off your machine once you're done. Plus, it's also a bonus for you because it's an extra workout to have to take the weight off and put them back. Number two, share the equipment. If someone else requires the equipment that you're using, be respectful and share your equipment with them. This rule especially applies during peak hours. You don't want to have a line full of people waiting for you to finish your exercise, nor do you want to be in that line waiting for someone else to finish your exercise in order to complete your planned workout. Number three is wipe off your sweat. Wiping your sweat off machines or benches that you're using is something you should do if you want to be hygienic. The gym tends to encourage this by providing towels or hygienic spray to wipe off the machines. None of us want the gym to be super smelly and disgusting, so definitely follow this rule. And if you see that other people are not doing this, I would recommend bringing your own towel and using that on the machines in order to be hygienic. Number four is avoid staring at people. Now, I think it's okay. In fact, I encourage you to look at what others are doing. It's a really good way to learn about new exercises that you can incorporate in your workout or what the correct way to do exercises is. However, if you exaggerate and end up fixating on one person, they're going to feel uncomfortable. It's the same way when we go to the gym, we don't necessarily want to feel watched during our entire gym session. Number five, ask for advice. Don't be shy to ask more experienced users at the gym for advice on whatever exercise you or they are doing. Generally, people are very happy to share their knowledge and tips about the gym, and you can learn so much from them and remember that they have also been in your place before. Number six, ask someone to help you. If you want to train solo and push your boundaries, which you should do, don't be shy to ask someone to spot you. There are some exercises where if you want to lift heavier weights and really challenge yourself, you can definitely use a spotter to avoid having any type of injuries. Number seven is avoid spreading your stuff everywhere. It really frustrates me when people come to the gym and treat it like they're at home and spread their stuff all around the gym. 
It makes it really difficult to know what exercise they are currently working on and which areas of the gym are actually available to the rest of us. What ends up happening is it ends up blocking me from doing an exercise that I wanted to do because I think it's unavailable when in fact it is. So definitely keep your belongings close to you where you are at the gym and respect everyone else. Number eight is don't judge people. We all have very different bodies and very different objectives. So maybe to you, you'll see someone that's too skinny, overweight, that maybe look clueless when they're doing an exercise, but instead of mocking them, choose to treat them with respect. In fact, to me, I admire those who are at the gym because they're all people who are working hard towards their goals, and that's great. Number nine is avoid being too loud. Gyms are relatively calm places. Well, if you take off the blasting music and the occasional grunt. But what I mean by this is that no one is or should be yelling at the top of their lungs or singing their hearts out. People are there to focus on their training and you should respect that and allow them to. That being said, the gym is not exactly a library, so enjoy your time. Number 10 is avoid circuit training during peak hours. There is nothing wrong with circuit training, but circuit training during peak hours is not a good idea. When the gym is really full and machines are very busy, you using multiple machines at once is not really respectful to others in the gym. So if you want to do circuit training, go at non-peak hours, which tend to be in the late morning or early afternoon. I hope that these rules allow you to enter the gym with confidence. I'll finish this video off with a small bonus point, which is that if you see someone struggling or risking an injury, offer to help and spot them for the last few reps. Who knows, maybe you'll even make a new gym buddy. Just make sure that you get their approval by just making eye contact before going off to help them. So there you have them, the 10 unwritten rules that you need to know before hitting those weights. It's not an exhaustive list, but it does encompass the core rules at the gym. So now you can go train peacefully and stop worrying about doing the wrong thing because you are now in the know. If you need some more new workout ideas, you can check out my upper body workout that I've linked now up on the screen. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for some more advice on how to be confident in your body through weight training. Stay strong ladies! <laughs>